हेलो देयर वेलकम बैक टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज थ्री न्यू स्टोरीज फ्रॉम इथियोपिया फॉर यू फर्स्टली वील टॉक अबाउट फानोज पेनिट्रेशन इन इथियोपियन कैपिटल एडिस अबाबा डज फानो हैव प्रेजेंस हेयर बिकॉज टुडे इट वॉज द सेकेंड टाइम वैन इथियोपियन सिक्योरिटी इंस्टीट्यूशन एक्नोलिश्ड Fano's presence or uh, presence of elements close to Fano in the capital city. Secondly, South Gondar heavy clashes ongoing outside a town in the outskirts of this town, very close to uh, the town. Uh, these clashes are ongoing. Thirdly, I have a clip for you, an old clip. of uh, fano amhara uh fano's uh, amhara popular front skandar nagas foreign affairs in charge david volde georgios this clip is old clip what was the position of david volde georgios about valaga which uh, proves that this a conflict is going to spread into valaga into shoa because uh, david was her talking about valaga months uh, before the start of this conflict in the amhara region firstly viewers first uh, new story is from addis ababa ethiopian capital where according to federal police and uh, addis ababa police Uh, a man has been arrested in bole sub city with weapons with devices uh, which he wanted to supply to fano fighters according to the press briefing by police officials uh, the arrested man's name is gatahun asfau asfau he was residing in bole sub city and their security forces searched his house from his house uh, several mobile phones military radio or communication devices other communication uh, other types of devices weapons ammunition uh, were captured and uh, this man according to the police was planning to uh send all these things to fano fighters this is the second time when state media uh reported about the presence of presence of elements close to fano in addis ababa just a few days ago uh police uh, claimed to have captured a vehicle in addis ababa with uh, hundreds of uh, Uh, weapons hundreds of uh, pistols again it was claimed that this weapon shipment uh, was for fano fighters it was intercepted by security forces it's very interesting by the way because uh pro fano uh, elements they say that uh, all these claims by security forces are false security forces want to arrest amharas in addis ababa that is why they uh, make these false claims but does fano want to have penetration in addis ababa does fano want to have presence here yes no doubt about it when addis ababa is the is, is the stated goal of fano fighters it means they are planning they are planning to enter addis ababa will they be able that is another question but addis ababa is the stated goal it means they want to have their sleeper cells in addis ababa by the way ola romo liberation army has been trying for years to establish their uh, sleeper cells in addis ababa we don't know how successful is ola but fano has managed to develop some sleeper cells in uh, some sleeper cells in addis ababa it seems sleeper cells are being uh, traced and uh, those who are behind these sleeper cells are being arrested 
Having said that, it does not mean that uh, civilians, Amhara civilians should be arrested in Addis Ababa uh, without any uh, legal procedure followed. Arbitrary arrests are happening in Addis Ababa, in other parts of the Amhara region. Human Rights Commission of Ethiopia has confirmed these uh, arbitrary arrests. And uh, the commission uh, does not have access to main camps, main prisons where these arrested people are being kept in the Amhara region. Commission was allowed to visit only one camp in Awash Arba. Commission could not visit other camps in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. Secondly, there was heavy fighting ongoing in South Gondar. South Gondar uh, is the zone where we have seen heavy clashes between Fano and military in the past uh, two to three months. Here we know that uh, Fano a commander, a Colonel Fantahun Muhaba is operating. Uh, he is operating, leading a Fano faction on Volo, South Gondar border. And uh, here there is Debrit Tabor, which came under Fano control a few uh, days ago. Fano fighters entered Debrit Tabor, later they had to retreat. And in South Gondar, there is Iste, there is Makan Isis. Uh, there was a fighting in Iste, Makan Isis. Uh, a week ago, Fano fighters took control of Iste. Later, they lost control of Iste and Makan Isis reportedly. Now, uh, fighting in another town, in the outskirts of this town, in South Gondar. Name of the place is Gayant. Gayant is a strategic uh, city. Uh, it is situated uh, to the north of Main Road. Debrit about to Nifas Micha, Main Road. Uh, to the west, to the north of this road is uh, this uh, city. Uh, Gayant, where reportedly in the outskirts of Gayant city, heavy clashes are ongoing. Very close to Gayant city, people are confirming who are uh, in the city that they can hear sounds of a gunfire. Basically, road is not uh, usable. Uh, military cannot use this road for supplies. That is what Fano fighters want. So, they keep on attacking uh, villages, cities, both to the north and south of the main road, Vuldia to Debritabor Road. You, you saw fighting close to Debritabor, there was fighting close to Nifas Micha, clashes in Iste, in Makana Isis, and now in uh, Ganth. Purpose is that uh, Fano fighters want to ensure that Wallo and Gondar are cut off. They know that uh, military has more uh, support in Wallo. From Volo, military convoys can move uh, and they can move towards uh, Gondar. So, they want to keep pressure on this road. And secondly, they know, they know that from Waghemra as well. In Waghemra, there is a main military base of Ethiopian National Defense Force in Sikota, I think. If this road is not under pressure, it means from Sikota, Lalibala, Gashina, to Nifas Micha, easily military can uh, move towards Gondar, towards Bahidar. Uh, and uh, in Waghemra, we know that uh, Fano does not have uh, lot, lots of support. So that is why this road is being kept under pressure by Fano fighters to stop large scale movement of uh, Ethiopian military from Wallo, from Waghemra, Sikota towards Gondar, towards Bahidar. Thirdly, we a clip for you of uh, Amhara Popular Front Foreign Affairs in charge, David Volde Georgius, uh, who served uh, in Dirk's government, uh, accused of stealing uh, food aid money. He fled to the US and now he's back in action. He is in charge of foreign affairs of the Fano faction led by Skandar Naga. I have a clip of this uh, man for you. This clip is an old clip, more than a year old, I think. A year ago, David was heard talking about Valaga. That Valaga is part of the Amhara region. It was annexed by uh, Oromia government. And this man, which was claiming that Valaga was part of Amhara, uh, is now leading one final faction in diaspora. 
That is why Fano fighters are taking the conflict from Amhara to Oromia because they have their claims to Oromia territories. Valega, North Shore, East Shore. Some areas on Oromia Amhara border are disputed, like Oragdana, where Oromia forces have entered, they have taken control of this town. And Amhara uh, people are fleeing the town. Amhara Fano fighters, they have announced to recapture Oragudana. Because Oragudana, through Oragudana, I think, uh, Ethiopia-Jabuti Road passes. Ethiopia-Jabuti Road, which is connected to Addis Ababa, it passes through Oragudana. And Ethiopia-Jabuti railway line is close as well. So, this strategic town uh, was part of North Shore zone of the Amhara region, though... Romia uh, had claims to Oragudana saying that it was annexed by Amhara regional government. Now, Romia forces are in Oragudana and uh, Fano fighters, uh, they are definitely planning to retake Oragudana from Romia forces. So, uh, this war in Amhara is Romo Amhara ethnic territorial conflict as well. Because and uh, the conflict uh, will spread to other regions too. Because Amhara Fano groups have claims to medical zone of the Benishangal Gumas region as well. They could try to move through Agoavi zone towards medical zone too if they manage uh, to consolidate their control of territories in the Amhara region. War. If it is the right word, uh, this conflict in Amhara is going to spread into at least uh, BG, into uh, Volkayat, Tigray, into Romia, Valaga. That is why we say it's a national conflict, not a regional conflict. Take a listen to what David Ole Georgia said more than a year ago about Valaga. Thank you for watching. <laughs> ስለዚህ <laughs> ጥንካራ <laughs> 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 <laugh